This question actually does not include a name, but that's okay. This person says, hey, I feel called to channel spiritual information into this world in order to help people heal spiritually. Can you please confirm this path for me and give me any advice? Well, it would have been helpful, I must say, person with no name, <laughs> if I had your full name and also a picture of you because that really allows me to hook into your energy. But I wanted to read this question anyway because the answer is actually pretty evident to me. If you are feeling in your heart that you were put on this planet to heal other people or to channel in order to benefit other people, if that feels to you in your body, in your consciousness and in your awareness, like your actual purpose in this life, then it is very likely that it is. And here's the reality, folks. We were all born into this life with a purpose. In fact, we came into this life with a blueprint, and this is the blueprint that we wanted to follow in order to have various life experiences, some painful and some joyful. We also came into this life with agreements and contracts, and some of these we have with other people, but we also have this contract with themes or energetic themes that we are supposed to be following. So we have this whole plan, but so many of us obviously get detoured because as soon as we get here, we begin to forget who we are. But there's always a homing beacon within us. There's always what's called the still small voice of our spirit. And our spirit is like the umbilicus. It's the cord that connects us to not just our higher self, which is always talking to us, but also directly to source energy. And it's through the spirit that we feel innately what the purpose is. Most of us probably aren't living our purpose at this time, but that doesn't mean that we don't feel it. And what you're talking about here is the path or the mission of a light worker. A light worker is someone who has been born into this life to be of service to other people, to be a light in this world. Now, the way you know that you're a light worker is you feel within you a sense of urgency. You feel like, oh my God, I am wasting time at this nine to five job or doing this thing or hanging out with these people. It's a waste of time. I have to get to my purpose. I have to return to my blueprint. That nagging feeling is what all lightworkers feel when they're not on path. And that, again, is the homing beacon. And now you, listener, might not really know what the path is. Maybe that's amorphous. Maybe you just can't tell. Maybe it's, you know, kind of a puzzle at this time. That's okay. All you need to do for your purpose to be revealed to you is to lean into your connection to source energy. When we are running love energy, when we are running spirit energy, it opens us up in all ways. It absolutely blows open, not just the aura, the chakras, the grid, the field, but it blows open all of what we would call the spiritual centers, also called the psychic centers. And it's through the psychic centers that we receive messages from spirit. These are the messages that we follow in order to find the path or our way back to the path. These are the messages that direct us to the people who can help us or to the doors that will be opened to us. Like a broken record, I'm always saying, aren't I, what Christ said. And, and Christ said, seek first your connection to God, which is the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. Everything will be made clear. All of the things that you want, everything that you need in order to live the kind of life you came here to live will be given to you effortlessly when you focus first on that connection. And so if you don't know what your life purpose is, you should be meditating more. If you don't know where your tribe is or your friends are or your lover is, you should be meditating more. You should be praying. You should be outside in the energy of nature. You should be doing those things that connect you more dynamically and deeply to the energy of God, whatever that is for you. Keeping in mind, of course, that it's going to be different for me than what it is for you. But whatever it is for you, do that more. And let spirit tell you in spirit's voice whether this is your calling. I want to counsel you not to depend too much on what somebody else says that you are or who somebody else says that you are or what you should be doing. That's external. All of the answers that you need, all of the answers that are given are within you already.
let me give you a really quick hint before we get off this episode. Whatever you loved as a kid, whatever you spent your time doing or dreaming about when you were like 7, 8, 9, even 13, 14, 15, whatever you spent your imagination on in those years is often tied to what your ultimate purpose is. So take a look at that and maybe you can uncover for yourself what the blueprint says. And with that, I just want to thank everybody for listening and absolutely thank those of you who are sending me your questions. I've got hundreds of them. I've got hundreds of these podcasts brewing and it's going to be awesome, not just for you, but for everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have a question, don't forget TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. And until next time, I hope that you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today.